Okay, I ran back and saved, grabbed some healing items. We're at the point in the game where my memories are getting a little hazy, which means my confidence in our abilities is going down a bit. And I did keep this crank because it's Resident Evil, and Resident Evil's got a major crank fetish. We'll probably need it for something. Yeah, put that crank in there. Yeah. Yeah, turn it clockwise. Oh, I hear something walking. Oh, I'm betting that's a dog. Oh, I'm a stupid dum dum. I'm a stupid dum dum. Okay, let's you take. Just go back in. <laughs> let's just take a step back and re-strategize here. I counted three dogs. Does that sound about right? Yeah. Not cool, man. You have no idea how not cool that shit is. <laughs> now I'm really glad we saved. Amanda? Yeah. Do you trust me? Well, I don't know. That's fair. Do I want to kill these, or do I want to just run by them? You should have paid more attention when you were running around like a weirdo. How, where do we have to go? Just past them? I, I would assume so. You might be able to get by them. This would be a good time to insert the Benny Hill theme. Fuck! Well, only one bite. It's fine. Yeah. That was like a playground shove on my back. Oh, and we're still in the green. Nice. Want to go swimming? No. That looks <laughs> dangerous. I love how you said that with like zero hesitation. No. <laughs> Are you stupid? Do you think I'm stupid? <laughs> There's a square shaped hole here. Oh, wonder what that's for. Yeah, turn that crank. Yeah. Yeah, use both hands. <laughs> like flushing a toilet. In a really sleazy gas station bathroom. <laughs> you can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. And we even get to keep the crank. It's the simple things in life. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, what we're doing is stupid. Okay. What do you mean, what we're doing is stupid? Oh, you know, just continuing our investigation. Oh. Walking into the unknown. Little to no regard for our safety. Oh, is this like an elevator? Ooh, and it works. Unlike the last one we found. Uh, oh, there's a blue one. There are blue herbs growing here. You don't need to use them now. Th those are like the ones that you you can only oh, use them just here. Use them. When yeah, you yeah, exactly. Birds don't do me dirty. Shoot you in your stupid face! A raging waterfall. It looks like there's something beyond it. Is that like a statue of a bird? Looks like it. Yeah. There's a gate over there. And there's a fountain with birds on it. 
The battery has been taken out. Oh, so there's a... Uh... Okay. There's a spot where a, bat where a battery needs to go. And the birds are pissed. How dare you brush against the fountain of glory that's very inconsiderate. I'm not liking these camera angles. <laughs> no kidding. That's brutal right above you. Yeah, this is where, like, Capcom's just like, okay, how can we royally fuck with the players? There's a red herb, but I don't have room for it. Ah, snakes. Not cool. At least they're just little snakes, unlike that last one we found. I've never been so happy to go into an unknown building. <laughs> well, it looks like there's a blue herb we can actually pick up. Well, we could, if you weren't packing everything with you. Look, times have been tough. I just wanted to make sure we were okay, all right? It's a shame that you always have to disagree with me. I really hope there's a safe room in here or somewhere. <laughs> Oh, thank fuck. Oh. You That's got safe. lucky this time. Oh, that was all skill. All skill. I'll take that one. Okay. Well, at least we can save again. I think I did see some more ink ribbons over here. Yes, I did. So, go ahead and save. So yeah, this must have been like a guest house or something. It's probably a bitchin' place to hang out back in the day. Although, to be fair, probably a lot of people that worked here just stayed here. And contemplated when they'd be able to go home, but they never did make it home. <laughs> okay, and we found another battery pack for the taser. We'll put one of these sprays away. And we did see a blue herb out there. So I'm going to go ahead and take a green herb and a red herb. And we're going to make a super herb. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Always remember, if you're stuck in an apocalyptic event, mix these three colors together. There we go. So the green and red herb by themselves, um, no different than a regular ass green herb. But introducing the blue herb, we get the mixed herbs. A mixture of green, blue, and red herbs. So that'll like heal you completely and get rid of poison. There we go. All right, let's explore this shithole. Explore that shithole they did. It's locked. The door plate reads 001. Oh, we can go through these double doors. Ah, oh, Whoa. no. <laughs> yeah, you fell down, jackass. That spider's like, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
probably gonna like spit at us. Oh. Ah! And I'm trying to get some distance so I can shoot it. Oh! Wide open room, perfect. Oh my gosh. Well, Bring the super herb with you. <laughs> back to the safe room we go. Because. I mean, at this point, Jill's probably like, you know what? Spiders, that's reasonable. <laughs> like, why not? It's been zombies, dogs, birds, more zombies, giant snake. All my friends are probably dead. Why the fuck not? Actually, you know what? Instead of using the uh, blue herb we picked up, let's just use up that serum that we never used. What? I'm poisoned. What do you mean it's not necessary to use this now? You're stupid. Okay. Blue herb. All right. Cured our poison. And then let's just use like a regular... Um, actually, while we're here, let's, let's make some more super herbs. I'll go ahead and throw this first aid spray in here. Go ahead and reload. And let's go back to the, uh... Arachnophobic's Paradise. Yeah, it didn't really do a lot of damage to me, but uh, yeah, that poison is a bitch. Oh, wait a sec. I think I remember this part. Sorry, we need, we need to get one thing from the item box. Got a green herb on the floor. Pick that up later. See if there's anything else important. A red oil lamp. It's not lit. I will go go ahead and light it. Oh, actually, a strange silhouette hovers in the reddish light. It looks like an eye. Could it have some kind of meaning? Actually, I am going to go ahead and pick up this herb. I didn't realize we were in the yellow for health. There we go. A rack full of wine bottles. They're all cheap vintages. Only the cheapest for our workforce. <laughs> oh, there's another spider. See him skulking around up there. Yeah. I was like, hey, man. What did I ever do to you? I wonder if I can shoot him from up here. Oh, yeah. As far as cheap shots go, this is uh, about as cheap as it gets. I kind of want to rely on the pistol if we can, just because we've got, like, so much pistol ammo right now. Yeah. Well, we got the drop on him. An advertisement for an arm wrestling contest. The winner will be named chief for a day of the Raccoon Police Department. <laughs> Interesting. Ooh. Sexy shotgun shells. Oh, another lamp. A green oil lamp. It's not lit. Strange silhouette hovers in the green light. Could it have some kind of a meaning? What's this? Will you take the red book? And then this looks like a first aid. Yeah, first aid box. Open the first aid box. 
It's a herb mix of green and blue herbs. And the book, Bandage with Blood. It's a book with a red cover. Nothing is printed on any of the pages. Is there a special way to use it? Wow. What a riveting storyline. I would totally buy this. I would totally purchase this again. <laughs> I know you really like your books, Amanda. Imagine if, like, you woke up and you're like, oh, look at my treasure hoard of books upon books. And then you go to open them and all the pages, pages are blank. Pages were empty. <laughs> <laughs> you're just like, I'm such a phony. I don't even know how to read. <laughs> Whoa, dead ass. Oh, come on. Nothing to say about that poster. <laughs> Dead ass. No, I'm going to leave that one alone. <laughs> oh, come on. What were you going to say? Come on. Can you use the book to, like, capture the images of the eyes? Because it's heated or no? Not that I'm aware of, no. Okay. We've lit three of those lamps. A guitar case, it's empty. An actual guitar. Some billiard balls. Two, three, four, five, six. There doesn't seem to be anything significant about the order, but. Oh, wait. Look at the eye under the lamp again. Can you do that? Yep. The lamp shines with orange light. Got like. Two eyelashes, or... It's like only two. Yeah. The orange ball on the table is a five. You can't move the balls around at all? No. Okay. They do not allow you to handle those balls. The FCC would, uh, shit a brick. Maybe that corresponds to, like, a puzzle in a different room or something? Maybe. Oh, uh, one thing I do remember, and I'm going to save us a little bit of grief. There's, um, you'll notice there's like a hole in the floor there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to save us a little bit of grief. I, I, I might fuck this up. We'll see. There we go. Okay, I... Might screw this up. We'll see. So, uh, one thing I do remember is there's something that will actually come out of that hole and grab you if you don't put that crate over top of it. So I'm just saving us some, some grief there. There doesn't seem to be anything useful. I don't like these corners. Newspapers lie scattered about. They all seem to contain articles about stars. That's our department. That's... Interesting. I see something shining at the end of the hallway there. It's locked. The door plate reads gallery. Oh, can't go into that cabinet. Okay. Oh. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. Barry's talking to someone. What about my family? If I play my cards right. Bandage 
Barry, who are you talking to? Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm all right. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. That sounds like a terrible idea. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm just going to get some fresh air. Just go open a window. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. I don't know if you could hear it on your end with the stream, but I did hear another voice, but it was like very low and muffled. So, he was talking to someone. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-virus has drastically morphed its host anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There is a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. Tasty. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey, or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this plant 42, when we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves this way is it, the way it does is still unknown. May 21st, 98, Henry Sarton. So another, another plant monster. Because we haven't dealt with one of those already. Those bookcases look painfully out of place, but, uh... Huh. Let's go check this room here. I think this is a washroom. Water drips from the sink. Perhaps the valve is broken. Will you take the residence key? Ooh. Oh, it's got a double O one on it. So back back at the uh, entrance hallway there, the entrance foyer. And it doesn't look like we can drain the bathtub in this one. <sighs> oh dear. Taser time. <laughs> That seems like a really bad idea in a flooded bathroom. A little bit, yeah. Well, I don't think we're ever coming back in here again, so fuck that guy. He could stay in there and stink up the place. Okay, so we got a key for that uh, 001 room. Doesn't take a genius to see that these look painfully out of place. Oh, secret hatch. Ooh. 